Hello there, my name is Beats Brienne, but you call me Ben, and today I'm doing a really quick recap of all the Funko news that came out this week, since other people have already gone over it, most of it at least, and today's WonderCon, so a ton of new stuff's going to be revealed, and so I'm going to have to record that, and so you're getting two videos in one day, yes, so I gotta do this one really fast, so it's a quick recap. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy, and stay tuned to the end where I'm doing a little giveaway of this guy. I'll have more details at the end. But anyway, let's get on with the video, shall we? Okay, first of all, Star Trek figures are now available for pre-order, with the exclusive Gorn still available as well, so get that while you can. You can now pre-order Anakin for the Amazing Clone Wars series, so that's pretty cool. I love that show as a kid, so I love that. And if you're an Attack on Titan fan, Plastic Empire has you covered, as they have a bundle of all the new Attack on Titan figures for just $65 not including tax and shipping. Poppin' Off Toys also has a bundle, but it's without the female time for $50. And the links to all those figures I just mentioned will be down below in the description. You can now pre-order the FYE Fi, I never have know how to say it, uh, exclusive Glow in the Dark Avengers Mech Strike Captain America. And now thanks to Diz.Pops on Instagram, which really you should follow. They have such great Funko content. They post all the news that I get my news from too. So you should definitely subscribe to them on Instagram. Not sponsored. We know that Hot Topic exclusive Black Hand, Diamond Selena, Deathstroke, Carnage, and Prison Mike figures are hitting stores. Have fun going on Funko Hunts for those figures. If any more news comes out on them, I'll let you guys know. And let me know down in the comments below if you have any good fortune in your fungo hunts getting the figures you want. Okay, so the exclusive to Target Terror Claw Skeletor is up on their website for only $5. So get that while you can because it's rumored that there's only 7,000 actually in stock. Target also has Lord Licorice from Candyland on sale for $5. The Duffer Brothers 2-pack for $9. The Jurassic Park Fungo Board Game for $15. And the other pops on Target's website are on a buy two, get one free sale. So get those while you can. I'll have the links to both Skeletor and the Captain America linked below. A 10 inch jumbo pop of Optimus Prime is hitting Walmart stores. So Funko Pop Hunters are gonna have a field day trying to find that. Like, you know, Walmart's not really the most reliable when it comes to Funko. The ECC shared exclusive of Deadpool has been fully restocked with it both in stores and online. And this week, we got our first look at Funko's Disney Rides Jungle Cruise, one of my favorite rides. Skipper Mickey with Boat is now available for pre-order. So that along with the Deadpool will be linked in the description. Another big figure for Amazon came out this week, Qui-Gon Jinn, which is currently under back order. As I said in previous videos, this is a figure that a lot of people want. I mean, it's Qui-Gon Jinn. And so he's been in and out of stock all week. He will restock again, and when he does, make sure to get this awesome pop. You just gotta hang in there and be patient if you really want him. All our exclusive Ghostbuster items are available now online for pre-order. Since the Falcon and Winter Soldier premiered last week and the second episode came out today, I just wanted to let you guys know that two common Falcon figures in Zemo are available on Hot Topics website. So get those while you can. I'll have the links to all of these figures down below. This week we got our first look at Down and Mickey, which will be a Funko Shop exclusive. And this week, uh, there's also been rumors flying around that we might see a Red Hulk figure coming soon. So when I get more information on that, I'll let you guys know. We also learned that Funko is getting into NFTs, non-fungible tokens. And so I made a whole video about what NFTs are and how they will impact Funko's future. I'll have that video linked down below because really, it's an interesting video. There's a ton of mechanics and inner workings to this and it could be big news in the future. So I'll let you guys know when more stuff on that comes out. Classic Empire has some pretty cool anime bundles up right now, including a four set piece bundle of One Piece. So get those while you still can. I know that there's a lot of anime Funko collectors and so Classic Empire is doing a really good job getting those Funko collectors the stuff that they need. Uh, BAM exclusive Bram Stoker, I, the guy that made Dracula, I think? I don't know too well. I probably should have done more research. And Flock King Kong with Battle Axe are up for pre-order right now on their website. Again, it's a BAM exclusive, B-A-M exclamation point. Get those while you still can. And if you get the Flock King Kong, let me know down below in the comments how he looks. I'm kind of interested in that. 
My first Fox figure is coming in right now, so I'll do a review of that. I'm not saying what it is yet. Remember how my first Funko Friday news video, I said that we're going to see an Immortal Hulk figure coming soon? Well, he's out now, and he looks amazing, both him and his Chase figure. You could get his regular figure, which looks amazing, his Chase Glow in the Dark, and a comic for pre-order right now. He's available virtually everywhere, as he should be, since he is such an awesome figure. I mean, just look at him. He's an awesome looking dude. He's got that thing in his hand. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the world or what, but it looks awesome. All the figures mentioned, including Hulk, will be linked in the description. Okay, so this week, Dirty Dancing Pops figures came out, which were actually first revealed in Fun TV, and I covered them in my Fun TV video. And so they're now available for pre-order. It's kind of funny that they're separate and not together. They're two separate figures, but what you gonna do? If anyone watching this video ordered the Art Series Mickey figures, you should know that the shipping for them has actually been delayed. It, as instead of shipping out on April, they'll actually be shipping out in May, so sorry guys. Stone Cold, the wrestling figure, has been hitting 7-Eleven stores with an exclusive sticker, so have fun looking for that Funko Hunters. I mean, how many 7-Elevens actually have Funko Pops figures in them? None in my area. All the links for these figures, the, the very dancing figures, will be linked down below. Another fun TV reveal is also available for pre-order now. The Alfred E. Newman figure and his chase. I did not realize that this guy was from Mads, and I'm so sorry about that. But it's water under the bridge, as now you can go get him and his chase. But if you're feeling nostalgic, this is definitely a figure for you. I don't know why, but I kind of just really like the look of the guy. I don't know, maybe it's the tongue, the face, whatever. He's a cool looking figure. If I was more into Mads culture, then I probably would get him. But I'm too into Star Wars and Marvel and The Office and anime and yeah. I gotta get more fandoms. Uh, all of those links will be in the description below. This week we gotta see some more images of the Princess Minis that will be coming out in April. So when more info comes out on them, I'll let you know. And I'm so sorry to all the Marvel collectors. I feel so bad for them, but... We're still way on Petro. I mean, he was supposed to come out so long ago. They got they got the rest of the WandaVision line out, but not Petro. And so, when he is finally available, I'll do a shorts video on YouTube and let you guys know when he's out. Oh, and I should probably mention, uh, from Diz.Pops, we also got a look at the glow on the specialty series exclusive Naruto, Six Path Stage. I don't really know what that is. I'm not too too into anime, I'm a weeblet, but the glow looks really amazing. So if you are into Naruto, this is definitely a figure for you. And we also got our first look at the Hot Topic exclusive Static Shock this week. He will be releasing on April 24th. So if you like this character from Justice League, then make sure to save the date. When all these figures come out, I'll try help you guys out with getting them. And so there's no links available yet, but when they are, I'll let you guys know. Speaking of Hot Topic, we got another look at the Diamond Marie figure. Yeah, that's, I know, that's not really big news. If you're into the aristocrats, then cool, good for you. I'm not gonna judge, but the real Hot Topic news is Hot Topic has just restocked Harry Potter and the Invader Zim and Gerb on the pig, which are now available for pre-order. So, Invader Zim, Harry Potter, it's just a little franchise is there. We also got our first looks at the next wave of Marvel Blacklight figures, which are available for pre-order today. I'm recording this on Thursday, but when video comes out, it'll be Friday, so it'll technically be, be today. Because logic. It's a whole collection, so if you really like these figures and just like the style of Blacklight Pops figures, I hope that you got up at 6 a.m. this morning, Pacific time, to get them. I record my videos, you know, on Thursdays and post them on Friday mornings, so if they're already out of stock by the time that this video comes out, I'm sorry about that. And in our last bit of news, yesterday, new Funko Sodas came out available for pre-order. We got Edward Scissorhands, Edna Mode, Professor Owl, Boruto, and Mojo Jojo! Yeah, I like that monkey. Get them all you can. The Boruto and Mojo Soda pre-orders are starting to sell out, as they should, for good reason. So get them while you still can. All of these figures 
and their pre-orders will be linked down below in the description. All right, so that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I almost forgot about the giveaway again. So I'm giving away Underdog. This is an awesome figure. I got him from Emerald City Comic Con. I was a, I was a lottery winner, but unfortunately I didn't get the sticker. So it's a shared exclusive sticker. Not many easy ways to get him. You probably get him on eBay for like 30 bucks. But why do that when you can subscribe to me? When I get 50 subscribers, I'll be giving this guy away. I'll do a comments-based lottery system contest thing. I'm still working on how I'll actually be able to get this guy out. But once I get 50 subscribers, I'll do that giveaway. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Have a great day. And bye bye now.